New information tonight. Domestic violence in Pueblo higher now than in years past. It's according to statistics released by the Pueblo Police Department. News has Natalie Chuck. She is live tonight with what police think is causing the problem now. Natalie. Thanks, Elizabeth. Pueblo is seeing a large domestic violence cases, especially over the past few months. Police tell me they believe that this rise in domestic violence is in part due to the pandemic with everybody staying at home more often. Today we're going to talk about domestic violence. The Pueblo Police Department released a video last week about domestic violence in the area. What's concerning to us? According to the data they released, Pueblo has seen almost 100 more cases of domestic violence to date than this time last year. Gabby Scooball lost her best friend to domestic violence just this past February, and she vowed to make a change. I lost Nicole's life, so I've got to do something to make it not in vain. Scooball launched Nicole's Army, a Facebook page where victims of domestic violence can reach out for help and resources. But she knows that COVID-19 has slowed the movement. The efforts are still going, but not much has been able to change yet. According to the data, Pueblo has reported 344 cases of domestic violence in just the last three months, 974 cases already in 2020. Scooball agrees with police that quarantine has fostered an environment for in-home abuse. But she also knows that Pueblo's problem with domestic violence is too large to pin just on the pandemic. It is systemic. It's not any one person's fault, but we all owe the responsibility to our community to get it fixed. The police department noted that domestic violence cases usually increase over the holidays, so they are trying to be proactive. Pueblo police want to remind everyone that one of the best ways to help victims of domestic violence is to speak up. If you see something, say something. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. Natalie Chuck, News 5.